Hello everyone and welcome to the Western School of Kinesiology program information session. My name is Shannon Woods. I'm the coordinator of student services and undergraduate programs in kinesiology. Myself and the rest of the undergraduate team would like to welcome you to our presentation to let you know a little bit more about what the School of Kinesiology has to offer both in academics as well as supports for students. Uh, in reference to student support, Western and Kinesiology have several programs to help students with their transition from high school into first year of university. Uh, one of those programs includes summer academic orientation, or known as SAO. SAO is the opportunity to sit or meet rather one-on-one -on -one, uh, with an advisor to discuss your first year course selection, your module choices, as well as your program and perhaps graduate and professional program goals. We encourage all first year university students to take advantage of Western's SAO opportunity um, to make sure that you're starting off with your courses on the very best foot. Kinesiology does have a practice of meeting with each first year student in the first semester of school. Uh, so this provides the opportunity for us to check in one on one with each first year kinesiology student to make sure that they're settling in well and address any concerns or questions that they may have uh, so that they can have a successful first year leading into years two, three and four of the program. Western Kinesiology also offers a mentorship program. So as a first year student, you can be paired with a senior kinesiology student. This offers you the opportunity to engage with the student. Um, they can support you throughout your first year. And if you enjoyed your experience, you have the opportunity as a third or fourth year student to be a mentor to a first year student. And this course is for academic credit uh, in third or fourth year. So again, a great opportunity. Western has a career counseling center as kinesiology also offers career and, and career related counseling. So perhaps the student is looking for advice on prerequisites for graduate programs. Uh, perhaps the student's looking for opportunities in terms of what programs may exist. Uh, these are resources and supports that both kinesiology and Western can offer to students throughout their time in their undergraduate degree. For students looking for some additional help in transitioning to university, the Learning Skills Centre offers one-on-one -on -one peer counselling. Uh, so again, if you're looking for course-specific help, perhaps it's a first-year biology or first-year chemistry or physiology, you have the opportunity to be connected with a senior student um, for assistance with some of those course concepts. The Learning Skills Centre also offers workshops to assist students uh, with common topics such as writing multiple choice exams, uh, taking notes, and just time management. Uh, for students wanting additional help, the Learning Skills Centre does also offer one-on-one -on -one learning skills counselling, uh, and all of these supports are included in, as part of a student's tuition. There's no additional cost. Kinesiology is a very broad discipline. It, is the, it covers the bioscientific and sociocultural study of human movement. Um, topics could include looking at the functioning, mechanics, and structures of body parts involved in movement, as well as the psychological, sociological, and cultural factors affecting physical activity and sport. Western Kinesiology admits approximately 350 students each year. Uh, the admission average last year was an 85, and that average was based on the prerequisite courses of Grade 12 U English, Grade 12 U Biology, as well as the students' top four other U or M level courses. Um, now, we do have two recommended courses. It is recommended that a student has Grade 11 or 12 Physics, as well as one Grade 12 Math course. So looking at the slide, uh, you can see Physics will help prepare a student to take biomechanics, which is a mandatory course in second year, and the math course does serve as a prerequisite for statistics, which is a requirement for all kinesiology courses. Please note that uh, the re recommended courses do not impact your admissibility. This means that a student who does not have the recommended courses uh, will not uh, be you know, disadvantaged when applying, a student who does have those mandatory courses would not be, or recommended courses rather, would not be selected over a student who does not. They're just simply there to provide you um, some background content for future courses. Uh, a student interested in the Bachelor of Science, you are encouraged to take one other grade 12 U chemistry or science course rather from chemistry, physics or math. Um, and what course you choose may depend on your career direction. So looking at a student interested in medicine or dentistry, you may want to consider taking grade 12 U chemistry as chem first year chemistry, biochemistry and organic chemistry are often prerequisites um, for medicine and dentistry programs. 
When applying to Western, you'll apply through the Ontario Universities Application Centre or ouac.on.ca. If you're an Ontario high school student, you'll apply using the 101 application and you'll be given an access code from your guidance counsellor. If you're applying as an other province student, you'll be using the 105 application and you do not require an access code. Uh, your application fee is $300 or $150 rather for three program choices. And for students looking to um, have additional program choices, you can pay $50 per choice. The application deadline is January the 15th. Please note that kinesiology has a common first year. Um, so when you do apply to kinesiology, you'll notice that there's a drop down box that lists subject of major interest. Um, this means that we're looking to capture what module you hope to pursue at the end of first year, um, but it is not necessary to apply to more than one of those, um, nor does it increase your chances of admissibility. So again, only looking to apply to one kinesiology module in the OUAC application. Western has um, scholarship and bursary opportunities for students. So to highlight a few here, um, the Western Admission Scholarship is for students who have a, between a 90 and a 91.9 average. The value is $2,500 um, and students receive $1,500 in first year plus $1,000 for an optional study abroad experience as a senior student. Uh, the Scholarship of Distinction is for students between an average rather of above 92%. The value is $3,500, $2,500 in first year and similar to the other admission scholarship, $1,000 for an optional study abroad experience. The Western Scholarship of Excellence is awarded to the top 250 students um, based on high school admission averages. The value of the award is $8,000 with $6,000 in first year plus an additional $2,000 for an optional student abroad experience as a senior student. Um, please note this, these, this award is not combined with another Western Admission Scholarship. Uh, there is no application required for these scholarships and you will be notified at the end of August the value of your scholarship. Uh, for those students who are looking to apply to bursaries, which are based on financial need rather than academics, the Office of the Registrar website does have an online application for which you can apply. Kinesiology offers several modules. Um, so we offer the Bachelor of Arts, which is the largest of all of our modules. We offer a Bachelor of Science, which has 75 spaces. We offer Sport Management, which has 30 spaces, and Clinical Kinesiology, which has offers 40 spaces. There is also a combined program with the Ivy Business School, uh, where in five years students earn two degrees, their sport management degree and their honors business degree. The way that program is structured is you spend your first two years in kinesiology, year three is in Ivy, and then years four and five is a combination of courses from both programs. Kinesiology has set progression requirements. So a student who earns a 70% average and no grade less than 60% in first year is guaranteed to progress with the School of Kinesiology. Uh, the average required for the limited enrollment modules may fluctuate from year to year, as this depends on the number of students who apply, as well as the competitiveness of that applicant pool. The Bachelor of Arts, as mentioned previously, has no space limit um, and has a cutoff average of 70%. Last year, the Bachelor of Science, the cutoff average was a 75 for sport management, it was a 70, and for clinical kinesiology, it was a 75.5. One thing you really want to consider when selecting a module within kinesiology is that professional programs such as medicine, dentistry, physical therapy, occupational therapy do not give priority to students from a particular degree. Um, so it's really important when choosing your program that you're choosing a program that aligns with your interests um, because if a student enjoys courses, they tend to do better in them, which will hopefully help their competitiveness for these graduate programs. So again, we really want to steer students away from selecting a particular module or a program based on the degree name, but more about what the content and how does it align um, with your interests because that degree type is not going to be the deciding factor between you being admitted over another student. As mentioned on the OUX slide, year one kinesiology is a, has a common set of courses. So all students will take a full year in human physiology, a half course in the psychology of human movement science, and a half course in psychomotor behavior. Looking at the Bachelor of Arts, this allows you three elective options. So within these options, things to consider could be um, graduate or professional program prerequisites if a student already knows which path they hope to pursue, as well as taking courses just from an interest standpoint 
point. Um, we all know that high school does offer a limited flexibility in terms of course options. So this may be a good time to take a course in a particular um, area just out of interest as you do have room within your program to do that. Bachelor of Science students have to take two science credits from biology, chemistry, math, and physics, leaving them one elective option. Students interested in the sport management module would have to take a first year business course with two elective options. And then students in interested in clinical kinesiology would need to take a first year statistics course, either 1023 or 1024, uh, and as well as 2.5 elective options. As mentioned on the admission slide, all students are required to take a statistics course. However, clinical kinesiology based on the structure of the module do require are required to take that course in first year. If a student was unsure as to which courses or module rather they would wish to pursue at the end of first year, we could plan their course selection to allow them to apply to both. Uh, so if a student were to select first year business, uh, a half statistics course, a half math, and one other science, this would allow them to select any of these modules at the end of first year if they were indeed undecided. Uh, similar to first year, um, kinesiology at Western does have a foundation year in year two. So all students uh, will take anatomy, biomechanics, exercise, physiology. Um, and then the electives that you take will depend on what module that you choose to pursue um, in second year. Third and fourth year is very much structured to allow students to personalize their degree. So all of our programs do offer some flexibility uh, within what a student takes. We also do not limit students from taking um, courses that would be offered in other modules. So for example, if you were a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science student who perhaps hope to open your own physical therapy or chiropractic clinic and you wanted some management courses, you would be permitted to take those sport management courses as elective options. So again, we very much encourage students um, to plan their degree. Um, that would include outside modules. So Western does allow students to take additional minors or majors in other disciplines. Um, so if you wanted to take an additional minor or major based on interest or perhaps something that you may fi find complementary to your future goals, uh, you definitely have room and the affordability to do that within kinesiology. Looking at the different modules, the Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology uh, really focuses, or is really focused rather for students who want a deeper appreciation of life sciences. So as mentioned previously in first year, you have to have two science credits from biology, chemistry, math, and physics. And then you need to take another 3.0, which would be six half courses of senior sciences in years two through four. Um, so a student looking to pursue the BSc should be aware that the, the science requirements do not um, stop at the end of first year but again, would need to keep taking those throughout um, your program. Within the BSc, students have the opportunity to take a total of 2.0 or four half course kinesiology electives. So this could be anything um, or any course area within kinesiology that interests the student. The Bachelor of Arts has the most flexibility in all of our modules. Um, students can really tailor their course selection based on their interests and their goals. Uh, there, it, the module includes 4.5 kinesiology electives, which would be nine half courses of, of sort of anything you would like to take within kinesiology, as well as ample room for external electives. So a total of 5.0 non-kinesiology courses in years two through four. Um, if you were a Bachelor of Arts student who was perhaps applying to a, a professional program that had several prerequisites such as medicine or dentistry, you'd have lots of opportunity to take these as your external electives um, throughout your program. So not to worry, um, again, how I touched upon choosing your module, a BA is not going to limit your opportunity um, to pursue a graduate program that may require science prerequisites because we've built in plenty of space for you to take those courses should you need to. The clinical kinesiology module is really designed to help students uh, develop clinical skills. So looking at taking a medical history, performing advanced exercise prescription. This module has the most mandatory courses of all of our modules. And the reason for that is, is in your fourth year, you'll have an eighth month clinical placement. Um, so we really need to make sure that you have that foundation for that clinical placement. The placement will approximately be about eight hours per week, and it does take the place of one one full credit course, um, and it would be in a rehab clinic, perhaps in a rehabilitation hospital, just to name some of the possible um, placement opportunities. 
The sport management module is to help students develop a broad understanding of physical activity and sport in a variety of contexts, looking at marketing, communications, tourism, sport for development, event management. Um, students have room for 2.0 kinesiology electives in years two through four. So again, as mentioned previously, students can take courses from other modules. So if a sport management student had an interest in some of the BSc course requirements, those would absolutely be open to these students. Um, students in second semester or fourth year will participate in a practicum in sport management. Again, it's approximately six to eight hours per week. Here's some example of kinesiology theory courses. So we have looking at the science options, movement neuroscience, exercise nutrition, neuromusculophysiology. We have athletic injuries courses, medical issues in exercise and sport, cognitive economics legal issues for kinesiologists, professional ethics, sport marketing. I would encourage you to take a look at our website. Under the courses tab, we do have all of our course outlines posted. So it's a great way to look at the syllabus to really get a great feel for what course opportunities do exist. Uh, part of being a kinesiology student is learning to apply the knowledge that, that you learn in the classroom to um, lab-based settings and other similar um, hands-on settings. So some of the skills that you may acquire would be learning how to construct and administer physical fitness tests, looking at motor fitness, cardiovascular endurance, body composition. How do you treat and prevent common sports industry, in, injuries? rather? Understanding the psychological basis for involvement in exercise and what intervention can be used to increase that participation. What is the role of sport in international development and health promotion? Understanding the biomechanics of trauma and musculoskeletal disorders, using exercise as therapy to improve health com outcomes, understanding the impact of nutrition and exercise on a variety of illnesses such as hypertension, dementia, dementia osteoporosis, and looking at a moral theory to ethical issues and cases in kinesiology. In second year, all kinesiology students complete movement modules. The movement modules help you connect the theory and the practice of what you've learned in first and second year. So some of the common skills you would acquire would be looking at recognizing and preventing common injuries by sport and activity, analyzing the biomechanics of a serve, a throw, a jump, and then how do you apply this knowledge to improve execution? understanding the physiological basis of power and performance and how can you use these principles to increase both, uh, developing leadership, communication, coaching skills, planning practices, sporting events, understanding the role of goal setting, looking at ethical issues in sports such as cheating and doping, and designing exercise programming for specific populations. Examples of some, as I previously mentioned, some of the modules do include mandatory practicums, and then there are other practicums that are available to students um, depending on the, their prerequisite background. Um, so there is an athletic therapy practice practicum where students can work as an athletic trainer for one of Western's varsity sports teams. Uh, students would be responsible for pre and post practice care of athletes. This includes taping, stretching, injury assessment, and they're also responsible for, for uh, field care during a game or practice period. Um, this is a full year practicum where students would apply at the end of third year and be matched with the team prior to the start of the fall season. The sport management practicum, as mentioned on the sport management slide, does include placements with the Linden Knights, Budweiser Gardens, Mustang Athletics, Ontario Summer Games, to name a few. Uh, the practicum is open to students who have the prerequisites who are not in the sport management module. However, priority would go to students in sport management first in terms of number of placements. There is also a, a generic practicum in kinesiology where we have a list of placements that include senior and exercise senior exercise and fitness rehabilitation, coaching, sports psychology, allied health professionals, to name a few. Um, these are one semester practicums, again, approximately six to eight hours per week. Uh, and students would be applying in third year for a practicum in either first or second semester. Uh, further examples of these practicums are available on the kinesiology website under the courses tab. Students can also participate in a senior research project. So the senior research project is a full credit research 
um, experience. Students have the opportunity to work on research, including collection and analysis of data and presentation of the results. Um, this is a great opportunity for students who are looking to do a research-based master's program, or perhaps students looking to um, be competitive for a professional program such as medicine and dentistry. Um, being involved in research is a great way um, to set yourself apart from other students. Uh, this is done very independently, one-on-one -on -one with a kinesiology instructor, and the application process uh, does start with the student securing a supervisor. Again, more information on the research project can be found on the kinesiology website. Kinesiology does offer students the opportunity to go on exchange in either third or fourth year for typically one semester in length. The courses are taught in English and students do have the opportunity at these partner institutions to take kinesiology courses. Um, so they very much align with the course requirements of Western kinesiology. Uh, Western International does offer additional exchanges, including some that are taught in other languages. If a student wanted the opportunity to go on one of these exchanges, we could absolutely work with them to sort of align their course selection um, where they would be taking all of their electives on exchange and their kinesiology courses in the opposite semester. So a possibility if perhaps one of the schools or countries um, that you wish to visit is not a kinesiology partnership, it doesn't mean that you still couldn't pursue that particular exchange. When it comes to volunteering, uh, kinesiology students are always looking to get engaged um, with different opportunities. So looking at the Fowler Kennedy Sports Medicine Clinic, which is on campus, there's the opportunity to assist physical therapists and kinesiologists. CERT, the Student Emergency Response Team. So at Western, should a person call 911 with a campus phone, it is the Student Emergency Response Team uh, that are the first responders on site. Uh, this is a great opportunity for students interested in something like medicine or perhaps physical therapy um, to get some really wonderful hands-on experience as well as training. London has several hospitals, including uh, the University Hospital, which is loaded, located on campus, Victoria Hospital, Parkwood Hospital, and St. Joseph's Healthcare. Um, all of these hospitals offer great opportunities for students to volunteer their time. The Canadian Centre for Activity and Aging is a research centre um, that is part of the Faculty of Health Sciences, uh, where students can actually obtain um, senior fitness certification courses, uh, volunteer their time, and really great, get some great hands-on experiences. I really recommend this for anyone who's looking to, for a career in rehab, um, because as you know, you'll be working with a large number of the aging population. Kinesiology also does offer opportunities for students to volunteer in labs. This is typically something that's done in third or fourth year, um, but absolutely, you know, first and second year students can definitely participate um, when opportunities present themselves. Looking at career directions, as I mentioned previously, we really encourage students um, to choose a program and to choose their courses based on what's a great fit for them. This is an example of some of the career and graduate opportunities that kinesiology students have pursued. Um, kinesiology does offer a really great background um, and students are well prepared to apply um, to many, many different college and, and graduate programs. As I mentioned with the career counseling piece, um, we do bring in different speakers, whether it be young alumni or professional programs um, or career panels to really help expose students to the, to the different opportunities that do exist for them. Kinesiology in the province of Ontario became a regulated health profession in 2013. This means that kinesiology graduates, including Western kinesiology graduates, can sit a licensing exam to be registered with the College of Kinesiologists. Um, so some of the areas of practice could include injury rehabilitation, pain and chronic disease man management, ergonomics, return to work planning. Um, this is a really great opportunity for students um, to sit the exam. Uh, the way it is structured is that you would graduate in the spring, you would spend the summer studying as well as hopefully volunteering with a kinesiologist to help consolidate some of your, your skills and training, uh, and then sit the exam in the fall uh, and then hopefully license shortly afterwards to practice as a kinesiologist in the province of Ontario. 
At this point in time, we're going to switch back to our live chat. So if you have any questions, um, you know, please don't hesitate to connect with us through the chat. I also encourage you to take a look at our website. As I mentioned, our practicum information is posted there. Our course outlines are posted there. Uh, and if you really wanted to pursue or rather review the differences between the different kinesiology modules, under our programs page, you will find a link to each of our modules. Uh, each of the pages is structured where it has first year course information and progression requirements and then the third tab is program resources. On that program resources tab you will find a PDF module checklist. This is a snapshot of the four years of what the course selection would look like for a student in that particular module. Um, it's really helpful to look beyond the first year requirements of a module to see what is the best fit for you, uh, not only in choosing you know, Western kinesiology, but also choosing your module and your course selection. So definitely a resource that I would encourage you to take a look at. Again, thank you so much for your time. Uh, be sure to check out our other panel discussions that are happening throughout the day. Take care.